Hello everybody, this is HD Shaves here. I'm back from another video. I hope this finds you well and in good spirits. So if you caught the video last week, you'll know that I used a stunningly beautiful anodized Wolfman uh, WR1 titanium razor for my shave. Um, and this week I thought I would use just something uh, a little bit more easily uh, found and a little bit more easily uh, bought, let's say. And so I decided to do a little return to the Rockwell um, 6S razor, you can see here. Um, I'll talk more about this razor as we get going, but uh, we're going to be using the four plate to start off, and we have a Paul Silver uh, Super Iridium blade in there. Uh, for the next part of the shave, I have to give a big thank you to somebody who goes by the handle online, uh, Jeep Guy. Uh, he took me up <laughs> on my offer of if you send me a t shirt, um, I'll wear it in a video or two. And before I show the main part of the t-shirt, a little bit of context. Um, so some of you may know that I don't have very much of a beard going. Um, you know, this is what it looks like after two days. And for some of you, this might be what it looks like after two hours after you shave. But anyway, um, just uh, a few of the guys, if you will, were uh, giving me a hard time um, about how it doesn't look that different necessarily when I go from like this to clean shaven. And so um, Jeep guy sent me this lovely t-shirt here. Um, maybe but smooth from start to finish. <laughs> and yes, it is as strange as you might think to wear a t-shirt with your face on it from a shaving video. So <laughs> thanks very much to him for sending me this shirt. Um, I think it's great. And my little PSA here is that even more reason for you to shave if your facial hair is like me. Um, this was something I learned either my freshman or sophomore year of college was um, talking with an attractive lady and uh, let's say she set me straight for life that if you know, you've know you got this kind of thing going on, better to um, shave it off than try to grow some fake beard or something. Okay, that's my public service announcement. For the soap today, this was also sent from Jeep Guy and this is a sort of a special one. I've got uh, in the Captain's Choice Bowl here. It's made by House of Mammoth. It's called Jarvis. And it was originally and only released as a special prize for the Lather Games that we do on Reddit um, from last year, 2021. Um, one of the prizes was Ben from House of Mammoth would create a custom scent for you based on what he thought your personality was like. So this one's called Jarvis. It's got a lot of scent notes in it. Rose, Oud, Vetiver, Tobacco. And to me, I can smell like a couple different Mammoth soaps, you know, mixed in this one. I get a similar rose to Mammoth Restore. And then the tobacco and the Oud are pretty prominent. Tobacco might be the same tobacco I'm smelling in Tobacconist. Could be totally wrong, but um, that's my initial impression. So we'll be using that for the soap today. Again, thanks very much to Jeep Guy for the soap sample and the wonderful t-shirt with my face on it. I think that's hilarious. We're gonna use the Dogwood uh, custom handle with the Magger Timberwolf knot to load up the soap. And um, yeah, this should be a pretty easy going uh, shave. I don't have as much uh, information to share right out of the gate, as I did last week with the Wolfman Razor. Um, truly what I've been using off camera this week is I've been using um, the Tetalus Essence Razor, which is, uh, they, they market it as a shavette, um, but it takes injector blades, artist club blades, and you can even do half DE blades in it. And I'm pretty sure it's the only um, razor like that that's meant to take, to take three different blades. Like you can sometimes modify like a you know, gem micromatic to take an injector, but this razor was designed to take different blades in mine. So I've been using that a little bit, and I've also been using a WEC uh, Sexto blade razor, which really is just like a straight razor with a replaceable blade. And for those, you use Persona Hair Shaper blades. Um, and I have enjoyed using that one just for the fact that the blade it's really very similar to a gem PTFE blade. I believe the hair shapers are also coated and so it's just like a longer, kind of a longer blade, but still made by Persona, still has that same kind of rigid feel to it. And so anyway, I've been learning how to use those razors off camera. And once I feel like I'm a little bit better with them, um, perhaps I'll uh, share those with you all. So I expect this Rockwell shave to be nice and easy. 
So we got a good amount of kind of volume in here just from working the soap around. I haven't added any water. Let's add a little water now and then we'll move to the face in a moment to um, finish up the lather. I, th I think I loaded the right amount of soap because I don't see um, too much of it like sticking to the bottom. And uh, so sometimes that can mean if you have soap that's still in the bottom of the bowl, it can either mean that you um, didn't spread it evenly and so it's just getting stuck because it's kind of too dense um, on the bottom of the bowl. Or it can just mean that, you know, the brush is full and it's not going to pick up any more soap um, unless you like add water and really kind of bowl lather it. So this is initially what we got going and let's um, start face lathering here. This is a pretty strong scent. Um, I would say, I don't know, at least like a 7 out of 10. Um, pretty, pretty potent. Um, and I think it's maybe that oud or the tobacco. Um, yeah, this is not a, um, kind of lightweight scent, if you will. Um, this is the real deal. And bringing me to my next point of how cool is that? That if you participate in some internet shaving games on Reddit, that you could get a custom scent made for you. So... By other games is coming up very quickly. Um, I do plan on judging again this year, unless they boot me off. Um, but I think I'll be judging again, perhaps um, participating in a couple um, of the theme shaves. And, um, you know, I think that really probably is the coolest thing about Reddit is that we do those lather games. Um, a lot of it is not terribly different from other forms. You know, we've got a shape of the day, Fred. You can, you know, post stuff you want to sell. Um, but I think um, that the lava games bit is really um, what makes it unique. So even if you're not on Reddit at the moment, I would encourage you to check out the themed uh, shaves. We should be releasing the calendar sometime in the next few weeks and then you can prepare and this of course will run the whole month of June I don't think I mentioned that but um, in theory we should give you a little bit of a heads up um, before we uh, make you jump into the month so I'm going to keep face lathering or bring it back in when I'm about to start my first pass with the Rockwell 6S Okay, this is our first pass lather result. Pretty happy with it. And let's start with the Rockwell 6S on the four plate. Uh, we're just gonna trim the sideburns a little bit here. They're getting a little bit uh, gnarly, if you will. You can always uh, trim them down more, but you can't add them back. <laughs> so good to start uh, a little lower and then see how it looks. So get the other side going. So if you've been uh, watching this channel for a while, you'll know that uh, Michael Friedberg um, gifted me this razor a long time ago. Um, now maybe probably two years at least. Because he knew how much I liked the 6C razor and he thought well, let me send him the stainless version. Um, and I still stand by the opinion that the 6C is probably the smoothest shaving razor I have ever used, period. Um, if you're just going for an effective shave, you don't care about how it looks or where it's made or the material or the material it's made from um the 6c is pretty great um but you know it's not the most attractive looking razor design and um i just like my vintage stuff too much and i just get bored easily with something like the 6c and then i could say the same with the success um 
I think Rockwell, they were smart to release the different colors for this. Um, just again, because anything you can do to make this razor head seem more, this razor in general seem more attractive, uh, it's probably a good thing. So I use the 6S uh, every, every now and again. And the four plate works very well for me on two or more days growth. So if your beard is similar to mine, maybe that's helpful information. I can use five or six, but I just don't really need to. This razor is plenty effective and efficient on play four for me. So yeah, uh, first pass felt very good. I'm gonna rinse and come back for pass number two in just a moment. Okay, pass number two, here we go. Okay, for pass number two, we're gonna stick with the four plate and we're gonna go across the grain, mostly. And I do think this razor is pretty suitable for beginners and, you know, it makes sense why so many people start off with this razor. It's Especially, you know, with the option to go all the way up to plate six, um, it's got a nice uh, range of aggression, right? Compared to something like those Mercure 23C to 34C. I love those razors, but I started off with one of those and it was I think in the beginning when your technique is not that great, um, it's definitely easier to shave with something that's got a little bit more blade feel, a little bit more aggression to it. Um, so unless people just really, really want something mild in the beginning, I usually don't, um, recommend, you know, the variations of that Mercury 34C head. Of, of course, as you develop your technique, of course, you should be able to get a good shave from a mild razor like that. But in the beginning, I think it might be a little bit too difficult. And that's not the case with this razor. This razor is easy um, to use. In fact, I'm just remembering the context in which I used a 6C for the first time. Um, remember there was a little pass around and perhaps the group was interested in what a beginner like myself at the time was interested, or they were interested in knowing my opinion of trying the 6C, but I'd only used the Mercure 23C um, at that point. So the 23C is the long handle three piece Mercury razor. So anyway, I had used that razor exclusively for months and months because that's what normal people do. They use the same razor for a while. And then I remember I tried the 6C and I just was amazed at how easy it was to use. Um, and so maybe that's where my bias for the 6C success began. But anyway, it's a nice little thing to remember. Okay, good second pass, gonna rinse. I'm gonna flip the plate to the two plate and then we'll do the third pass, so be right back. Third and final pass.
Okay, let's do our final third pass with the Rockwell Success. We've changed it over to the two plate. And just remember the one that you see when you're looking at it like this, that's the one that you're on. Makes sense, right? Um, this uh, Jarvis soap scent has really um, surprised me in that it's such a deep, rich, kind of complex scent. I'm now um, being reminded of like German Christmas stores. Um, at least here in the US, you can go out to kind of the middle of nowhere and there will be these large Christmas stores that are usually, well, in my experience, that they're German themed. And there's something about the smell of the soap that reminds me of that. It's like, it's like sort of a, syrupy sweetness kind of thing to it, but then there's also like a lot of like there's a lot of depth to the scent and so it's being balanced out by like oud and tobacco and things like that. Um, so yeah, this is a very complex scent. Um, yeah, this is, this is probably not something I could use every day because there's just a lot going on. But I do like it, and I do appreciate that it uh, is thought-provoking, let's say. Going to the two-play for the third pass has always been uh, my go-to move. I uh, When you've already done two passes, you might as well knock it down. Especially because four and two are on the same plate. It's very easy to just flip it over, right? But people sometimes wonder why the plates aren't in order, because it's like five, six is on one, but then it's four and two on one and one and three on the other. And my guess is so it's that you could do that flipping thing, like if you want really, really mild, You can start on three and then flip over to one. Or if you want kind of medium and then mild, you can start on four, flip over to two, right? I don't know that for sure, but that's just my guess as to why they did that. Very smooth. Just trying to kind of guide the razor through the hair there. Wasn't trying to push or exert unnecessary force, if you will. And let's just grab the usual spots. And then we'll be good to go. So as you can see, just very easy three pass shave. No irritation, skin feels fantastic. Um, sure, I'll use a little alum off camera and then I'll come back to apply some balm. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so I applied some Osma alum off camera and confirmed that I had a very good sh uh, shave, no burn whatsoever. Um, and then let's go ahead and use some Zingari unscented balm. The weather's kind of warming up here. It's still, most of you wouldn't consider this spring weather based on where you're from, but here it's spring for us, and so I don't feel the need to use the heavy uh, de declaration grooming liniment all the time. And um, it has sort of become my rotation. Just in the warmer months, if I want to use a balm, use the Zagari Unscented. And this one is not the Sago one, so it doesn't have tallow in it, so that makes it a little bit lighter which is kind of what you want um, in these warmer months. 
And then in the cooler months, I'll use the Declaration Gro Grooming Liniment because that is really a, a powerful product, let's say. Okay, so let's do a final rundown. Again, we use Jarvis, the uh, soap from House of Mammoth, um, complex scent, and I'm going to continue to enjoy it because I use that unscented balm. I, I expect to get whiffs of it for, I don't know, in a, in like probably an hour or something. We use the custom dogwood Magger Timberwolf brush, and then we use the Rockwell 6S. Wonderful razor, nice way to get into the hobby. Not my favorite looking razor, um, but it gets the job done. So we can't knock it for that. Um, hopefully next time I'll be using one of those open blade razors that I mentioned. And um, it'll be good to bring you an open blade video that's not a Feather DX. Although I had been using that very re religiously off camera as well. So for now, this has been HD Shaves. Thank you all so much if you made it this far. Thanks again to Jeep Guy for this hilarious shirt, baby butt smooth from start to finish. Okay, take care everybody. We'll see you again next time. Goodbye.